Hi guys, welcome to my loot from 1000 Brine Rats video. Before I get into the loot, I just wanted to quickly explain a little about why I killed 1000 Brine Rats and Brine Rats in general. So I decided to kill 1000 Brine Rats on my Iron Man account as I'd never killed Brine Rats in all my time playing RuneScape before. It was one of several monsters I've never killed and I was just genuinely interested in the drops. Pretty much all the drops are useful and most of them are noted drops as well so they're really easy to pick up without having to worry about filling up your inventory. I also was just keen to try getting a Brian Saber as I've never actually really used one either and it has slightly better stats than a Rune Skimmy so it was kind of interesting also as a special attack but mostly it was just out of complete interest and for the fun of it. To kill Brian Rats you need level 47 Slayer. They are only assigned as Slayer tasks by Kaelda or Duradel but you do not need to be assigned a task to kill them. You also need to have started Olaf's quest so that you can enter the Brine Rat Cavern and you must also bring along a spade. The Brine Rat Cavern is located on a snowy plateau southeast of the Rileka Hunter area as marked on the map you can currently see on screen. There are lots of different potential methods you can use to get to the Brine Rat Cavern. You could run from Rileka player owned house portal or from any other teleport that may take you to Rileka. You could use a Slayer Ring and run north of the Rileka Slayer Cave. However, if you have access to the Fairy Ring teleports, you can use Fairy Ring DKS and that will bring you directly south of the Brine Rat Cavern. All you then need to do is run up to the Windswept Tree and dig with your spade. And the Brine Rats will be in the cavern you'll first be able to see on your mini-map. So once the stun from digging into the Brine Rat Cavern has worn off, you'll be able to head on over to the Brine Rats. I killed the Brine Rats on my Iron Man account, which at the time had between level 44 and 55 defense and similar attack and strength levels. And despite the Brine Rats only having 50 hit points, I required a fair bit of food and overall quite a few trips to reach 1000 kills. I also safe spotted some of the Brine Rats early on with range just to try it out, but I found it to be quite tedious and quite hard to get fast kills whilst using the safe spots available in the Brine Rat Cavern. There's not really many of them and it kind of is hard because you have to lure brine rats into a specific spot to be able to safe spot them so you can definitely safe spot them but it's going to be slower kills now i'll jump into some live commentary oh brine saber wicked that is the first ever brine saber drop i have received ever in all of runescape that is awesome. It's just a piece of content that I've never done before, really. Like, I've never actually killed Brine Rats before, so that's why this is so cool. And that sword look, looks absolutely amazing. I love that. That's actually awesome. It's like a proper, like, rough cutlass. Oh, I better check quickly what kill that was on. So, I'm just going to check my Slayer log here. And that was on kill 677. So, that's the first Brine Saver I've ever had, and that took 677 kills. So, that's really cool. Oh yes, that is the second Brian Saver drop. I'm very glad that happened because these have a average drop rate of one in 512. That was second one on my 848th kill. Raw sharks. So I've just killed 1,000 Brian rats, as you can see just here, and this is the loot. There is some more in my bank and I'm gonna go get it out. So this is all the loot that I received after killing 1000 Brine Rats. So it's quite nice. Received a lot of nice rune drops here. A lot of nice raw lobsters, raw swordfish, raw pike, uh, raw rat meat, water talisman, raw sharks, and of course the two Brine Sabers here. It's definitely got a lot of useful items here, which I can see is being directly beneficial for my Iman account, especially the death runes and uh, some some blood runes is kind of all right, but the raw lobsters is great. That's going to provide me with a bunch of cooking XP and some food, and the raw sharks are going to be great for recharging some um, enchanted lies, I think. And so that equals about 900, almost 950k, uh, 928k OS buddy guide price. So. It's definitely worth doing, I think, the Brine Rats as a slave task if you get them. Not worth doing at a low level, I would say, and I was doing this for fun. It's definitely not worth me doing it even as an Iron Man to get these items. It's, I mean, the Raw Sharks, is, it's pretty nice to be able to get those Raw Sharks, but at the same time, it's probably not really worth doing just for that. It was worth doing for the fun of it. I'll just do a quick comparison of the Brine Saber with the Rune Skimitar. So it's a very small difference, but it's a difference nonetheless. So Brine Saber, you've got 47 Slash and 46 Strength, and then for the Rune Skimitar, you've got... 44 strength and 45 slash so that's like a difference of about two I think and it's kind of interesting I I mean the uh, rune skimitar also has a plus one slash defense bonus So there's no defense bonus on the brine saver for that, but everything else is the same 
Before I end the video, I'll quickly show you the Brian Saver special attack. Now, not many people have probably seen this because basically you have to be underwater to use a special attack and that's why it's also quite useless. You cannot use the special attack unless you are underwater and the special attack doubles the chance of hitting and it also adds 25% of the damage to the player's strength, attack and defense. Here we go, let's use the special attack on a mod skipper. Bam, there you go. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> it's like... Oh, it's such a useful special attack. Thanks very much for watching this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I had fun making it, and I look forward to seeing you guys next video.